What's going on? Welcome back to Jiu-Jitsu Outlet. I'm here with an alternate turn PGF athlete, Mr. Sam Schwarzapple. What about man? How you doing? Great. Feeling good. You know, I got a extra day of rest that everybody else didn't do. So, I mean, I don't know. I wrestled my whole life. So it's like I've done 12 matches in a day, back-to-back days. So it's like I know that there's the hype of like, you know, competing over and over again over the course of a week. And I get it. Like, if you take damage, then yes. Like, you're in trouble. Do you get but, ran into a couch? Yeah, you get ran into a couch. You don't tap, you know, early. You take damage. Like, yeah, yeah. it's going to screw you up for the rest of the week. I'm not trying to take any damage. Like, I'm if somebody sinks something in, like, I'm very proud, but I'm not that proud. You know, right. like, I don't need to break an ankle. I don't need to break an arm. Like, I'm here to compete. Um, and I'm here to be able to compete after this like next weekend i'm competing in austin at the ebi qualifiers so it's like i gotta stay healthy so yeah 100 percent, man you got a lot coming up i think your mindset going into this is great matt's matches sound like they're about to start but dude i wanted to ask you a couple more questions this is a question i like to ask everyone how do you feel jujitsu helps your mental health oh i mean for me, it's like when I start getting heavy and like I can't see my abs, like that's where it comes in for me. Like I love kicking people's ass, but for like just like being fit, you yeah. know, it's like waking up, looking in the mirror and be like, oh, you know, I'm in not fucking overweight. Like I'm in good shape, you know, meeting friends like it's all my best friends that I have these days. Most of them are, you know, in the jujitsu community. Oh, yeah. They're right here. It's like, you know, it's like I'm living in a house with them. I have a match against Elijah today. Like, Elijah's my friend. Like, we're staying in the same house. I've went out and visited Elijah in Atlanta. He came and visited me in L.A. So it's like, he's my boy. You know, it's like, yeah, like when we step out on the mat, like, yeah, for six minutes, we're not friends. Right. But right after that, right before that, we're good. A hundred percent. You know, that's the jujitsu lifestyle. It's like, you got to be nice to the guy. Because next time you roll, he might try to kill you. There's that. And I mean, I think there's like a certain (laughs) level of respect, you know, it's like, yeah, we all do the same shit. You know, it's like, you know, that this person's training, this person's going to the gym, this person's putting in time to get better. And it's like, how could you not respect somebody who's put doing the same thing that you're doing? And you already know how hard it is. Right. So it's like, how do you not respect these people doing the same thing? You know, that's what a lot of the athletes have said yeah. about each other. Like whenever I get them on this interview, it seems like there's a lot of respect between everyone for that reason. It's like everyone respects the grind that it took Absolutely. To, to get here. So you're not going to, you know, no. talk badly about one, someone like that. Cause I'm I think not, that, I mean, look, there's people, there's assholes. There's people that, you know, are not that want to hurt you that are not, good people that they exist you know but for the most part no like everybody seems to be cool you know it's like off the mat we're boys on the mat you know just try and kill each other put on a show pretty much have a good time play this little ninja game that we're into well dude we're gonna watch these matches but i do got one last question i'm a believer in like the magic of intuition and just kind of in this like inner knowing that you have about your life and about the future when you came here, did you have any sort of inner knowing that you were going to end up competing? Or did it just like, was it a surprise? Like, how are you feeling? I knew somebody was going to get hurt. There's going to be somebody that gets hurt. There's probably going to be one or two more people at a minimum that end up pulling out by the next over today and tomorrow. Um, I definitely knew somebody was going to get hurt. It happens every year. You know, like you said, like not everybody's, not everybody's prepared to grind like that right. and fight through injuries. Like me, I know when I'm coming into a tournament, I don't expect to feel a hundred percent. Right. Like you're never a hundred percent. If you're waiting to compete being a hundred percent, you're never going to compete. Yeah. So it's like, I'm prepared to go out there. If I'm at least, you know, I have close to a hundred percent, 90%, 75%. I don't care. Like I'm going to go out there. I'm going to do my thing. I'm not afraid of anybody. Um, coming here. My biggest concern was, I guess, they were doing us on a team. Right. So, like, having... So, somebody on my team needed to get hurt. Yeah. Which sucks. Like, you know, it's like, I don't want John to get hurt. Like, yeah. you know, it's like... You don't want I don't want that, hurt. but, like, is it best for me? Yeah, it's best for me. It puts me in. I get an opportunity to go out there and bang, you know, show people what I could do. And right. I think that in the two matches that I've had, I think I made a pretty good impression on oh, what yeah. I could do out there. Well, that's awesome, man. I really liked watching you yesterday. Thank you. And that was kind of what I picked up off you, like, during the weigh-ins, was you were just kind of had this attitude that 
you were here as if you were going to compete. Like oh, I could yeah. tell that you were taking it seriously, even though you were an alternate. No, I was here to compete. I knew that somebody was going to get hurt, but yeah, it's like, you know, I was the first alternate. So right. like if, if I, if they hadn't put us on teams, like I knew I was going to compete. Like I knew somebody was going to get hurt and I'm going to fill in for them. Yeah, right. My concern was, you know, like I have to now, it's like not one of 20 people. It's now one of five people. Right. So, you know, and he's the only person that's pulled out. So I'm the only alternate that's come in so far. Right. And yeah, happens, it's good man. for me, but yeah, I, I feel bad for John. It sucks. I hope he heals up and he yeah, feels better. I'm sure he will. Yeah, it doesn't seem like it's too bad. I was just talking to him. I think he'll bounce right back, but you know, you got to take that precaution so you don't turn it into a permanent injury. But dude, no, no I point. appreciate you being here. Thank you so much. Best of luck. Thank you. Kick some ass, dude. Yeah, thank you. Look forward to watching. Yeah.